Welcome to Central's devotion for today. Outside the church, pretty cool, huh? Um, we're going to be focusing on Ephesians 5, 15 to 17, which says, Look carefully, then, how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of your time. Because the days are evil, therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. This strikes me right now, especially because we're in a totally different situation than we've we've could ever have imagined. Um, we're used to our lives being full and busy and running different places. And uh, and if you're a parent, you're you're running to to church. And you're running to all these different sporting and extracurricular events for your kids. Um, there's just a lot of busyness in lives. A lot of families don't even uh, have an opportunity to sit down and eat dinner together as a family. They're rushing. And eat. But now, now, all of that stopped. Now, there is an opportunity to sit down with your spouse, with your kids, with your family, with your with your sibling, and break bread together, eat meals together, talk together, get to know each other better. Um, instead of our relationships being based on on what our uh, what we accomplish, our relationships are now becoming more based on who we are, and who we are to one another. You know, God, God is, 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 is calling us right now to look carefully at how we are using this time in quarantine with our families and to not be foolish with that time, uh, but to make the best use of it because the days are evil. Uh, the days are drawing us away from what's good and what's holy and what's healthy. Do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And I can tell you the will of the Lord is to love Him and to love others. And this is an opportunity for you to really focus on your love for God and your love for one another, especially those who are in your house. Now, if you're alone um, and you're quarantined just by yourself and you can't be with anybody else, I, I, I pray for you. Um, but take advantage of, of FaceTime, calling, connecting with other people. I guarantee you um, others have the time to give you right now. They have the time to give you. And... And if somebody contacts you, don't waste that opportunity to bond. God is calling you. In this, uh, in this passage, is talking about some really evil and dark stuff going on. But it, it's also talking about um, God shining light upon you so that you can live by the light. If you look a little bit before... Um, uh, verses 15 to 17, you can see where it says, But in everything exposed, verse 13, but, in, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine upon you. The light is shining on you right now. Things you were able to hide um, and not deal with because you were busy are now front and center. And, and God's calling you to shine light on those things, eliminate the darkness, shine light, bear fruit, and, and to make the best of your time together. Um, that's what I'm going to leave you with right now. Let me pray for you. 
Father in heaven, I pray that uh, that we are able to make the best of this very unique time and situation. Lord, we pray, we pray that it is short, uh, but Lord, all according to your will. And we pray, Father, that a, a safe, effective treatment for the coronavirus is found soon. But Lord, that we obey your word and that we take opportunity, that we take this opportunity to walk as wise and um, make the best use of this time. Loving our family, loving our neighbors, and loving you. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.